home. Scott Frost joins us now on the phone right now. A unique situation for you just taking this job and all. Give me an idea of what your pitch was to recruits this year, Scott. Uh, we haven't had much time to pitch it, but um, I think the University of Nebraska sells itself. Um, the history and the tradition there sell themselves. Uh, it hasn't been where it needs to be, and I think the time's right and our staff's right to get it back. But we've had a, a dominant defense down here at UCF with the guys that I'm bringing to Lincoln. We had the number one offense in the country, um, and we're looking for those guys to help us do the same thing in the Big Ten. Because of the late start you had with this class, how important to you will this second signing day be in February? Well, the second signing day is probably more important than this first one, and we're getting some really good kids here early. But uh, at the end of the day, we've been through this process two years ago when we took a new job, and um, what we want to make sure we do is take the right kids. We're not just going to sign kids to fill a class. We want kids that uh, are good football players, uh, that are good people, and they're going to fit our schemes on offense and defense. And I think we have a good start with that, but we're going to have a lot more time in January uh, to go out and, and, and develop relationships and, and try to um, sell ourselves to a lot of recruits around the country. Let's get to some of the recruits you're bringing in. The quarterback, Adrian Martinez. What do you like about him? Well, I'm excited about him. He has a lot of potential. Um, when I was evaluating quarterbacks a year ago around the country, he was my favorite one. Um, his ability to run and throw and his maturity as a kid, I think, are going to serve him really well. And for the offense that we run, um, I didn't think there was a better fit in the country. So w once we took the Nebraska job, we got a hold of him right away, and, and we're thrilled to have him on campus. There's a handful of defensive linemen you're bringing in. Tate Wildeman, David Alston, Masri Maypew. What stands out with those guys? Well, you know, like I said, we're going to recruit to our scheme. Um, there were some, some really good and talented kids that were committed to the last staff in Nebraska, and, and we wanted to make sure and be loyal to those guys um, and, and then go out and try to fill the class uh, with other people that we knew about and other people that um, we're going to work on for the rest of uh, January before February. But... Um, you know, we're finding kids that fit us. I think uh, Tate Wildeman is a kid out of Colorado that has a ton of potential and fits perfect in what we're doing. Uh, David Austin out of Minnesota um, can be an outside backer for us and, and has some, some unlimited potential. Uh, so those are two kids that were committed and uh, that we were excited about when we watched them. Whether it's someone we've already talked about or somebody we haven't yet, give me an idea of a player that you have your eye on, that if things develop right throughout the next eight, nine months, we could see them make a real impact on your team this fall. Yeah, you know, I, to be honest with you, this signing day gets overhyped, and I'm never going to be one that uh, does the overhyping. Um, these are good players we're getting. There's a lot of good players signing a lot of places, but a lot of work has to be done before any of those kids are going to be superstars. And... Um, you're not going to see our staff dancing around in the coaching staff room uh, every time we get an NLI. Um, I, I just don't think that's honest. Um, you know, we're really excited about these kids and excited about uh, about ours as anybody is. But there's still a lot of a lot of ground to cover, a lot of work to be done before those guys are going to be superstars. And uh, some kids are going to come in and have a great opportunity to play at Nebraska right away. Um, Usually it's maturity that leads to opportunity to play right away, and I think we're getting some that are, are not just talented kids, but good kids and mature. Scott, how different is recruiting to Nebraska now versus when you were being recruited? Oh, I don't know. That was a long time ago, and none of you guys talked about that back then. <laughs> um, listen, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska is one of the best college towns in the country. There's uh, tradition there like very few people have um, football is going to get cranked back up there again and we're going to get it rocking and rolling and there's no reason all these kids that are signing anywhere else uh, shouldn't want to come to Lincoln to play uh, like I said we're we're going to play a, a fun brand of defense uh, an attacking defense um, and down here we have the number one offense in the country and all we need is some guys that fit our scheme uh to make the same thing happen up there so I, I think it's a tremendous opportunity for young men to come and play for some really good men uh in a place that has the most passionate fans in the country and have a lot of fun along the way scott frost congratulations on the new signing day and the new gig as well nice to talk to you i appreciate you guys thank you